Dylan Matthews. Dylan Matthews. You gotta put that in your bio. People are messing up Dylan Matthews enough that you think that I would think that people need to see that in the bio. We <sighs> Let me catch you up to speed. So there's this Facebook account that is not only using my face, but they are catfishing pretending to be my entire life. They got this dumbass picture of a house and a Ford Mustang. That's immediately how you can tell this isn't me because I hate Mustangs. I would never drive a Mustang and I would never ever ever ostentatiously park my car at an angle to try to take a picture of my fucking car in front of my fucking house. <laughs> but that's me! That's that's a little me picture! I haven't been on Facebook in years, man. I hate Facebook. I think it's trash. So someone has taken the opportunity to create their own Dylan Matthews account. And it would be okay if it was a fan account, but this thing is not. First of all, it just makes up facts. Lives in Dover, Delaware. Who the fuck lives in Delaware? Single. Okay, that's true. That's sadly true. From Wisconsin Dells, you just- did you just fucking pick a spot? Did you just type in Wisconsin and look at one of the first cities that pops up? But here's the thing, I don't know how angry I'm allowed to be because they're still promoing me. There's still a community of people that think I'm here and they take the time to actually say go follow my channels. So can I be angry? I don't know. Thank you all for being true and loyal dedicated fans. I greatly appreciate it. Follow me. Dylan will not participate or Dylan is in trouble. Pratyush Verma says, your videos are lit, bruh. What did I reply? What did I say? Thank you. Okay, I thank my fans. It took you five weeks to thank somebody? Fuck you, fake Dylan. If someone says great videos, you thank them immediately, you arrogant bitch. The voice in American Idol at the same time. Tough decisions. Adam, buddy, stop talking over contestants into not choosing Blake. It's getting old. This is my first year not helping behind the scenes, and I actually miss it. Man. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, I worked on The Voice. I was a contestant production assistant for season four, five, and I did casting for six. It's on like season 10, 11, 12. I don't fucking know. I've never really watched a show. So for you to say that this is my first year not working, that's just a lie. I haven't worked on the show in like five years and Adam talking over Blake is my favorite thing. Don't tell him to stop. Oh, fake Dylan likes to go on rants too. People need to STFU. You don't know shit about me. I'm not on Facebook every day. I don't have time. Of course I don't disclose a lot of personal information for a reason. Don't just make up whatever you think is true when you never met me. People need to stop asking me for money. I am not giving your fake girlfriend me a cat any cash. I am not paying your rent or buying your groceries, so stop asking. Who the f- Who- What are your associations, bro? Who is hitting you up? Are we surprised that fake Dylan has some shady connections? I'm busy working. I can't be bothered with people that are trying to scam others. Really? Enjoy your evening, and if you feel like watching my YouTube videos, they are Dylan will not participate for music reviews, and Dylan is in trouble is the second account. Again, they promo me. I'm oddly grateful. Here's a real problem. Be kind if others are not. Always treat others as you would like to be treated. Think of how great the world would actually be. The fact that you won't type out the word wood, that should be an instant red flag for anybody. I'm never shortening wood to WD, you fucking fuck. The problem I have with this is some girl hits this fake account up and says, Dylan Matthews, I am casting for a host of a TV network series that will appear on social media and I'm trying to get in touch with you regarding it. Then the fake Dylan Matthews, obviously since they're fake, they're gonna turn it down. They say, I am not interested. I don't have time. I read my tweets, all of them. Mm -hmm. I have too many obligations that I can't fulfill, which is the most arrogant response of all time. Someone's coming and offering you an opportunity and you're like, I don't got time for you, sister. I would make such a great host. I want to host things? Let me host. Fake Dylan account, you got to forward this shit to me. Let me know. Don't just refuse. Come on. I straight up may have lost a job because someone is catfishing as me. Happy New Year. Goodbye 2017. Hello 2018. Make the most of it. Wow. If you think that I'm ever going to post on social media something so boring without a little bit of irony or a joke, then you don't know me at all, man. Come on. Happy New Year. I hope 2018's good. Are you 
you think I would you think I would say that? So my great friend Naheem Riddick has agreed to be a taste tester in my crazy food recipes contest for a future YouTube video. Would it, would I ever make a crazy recipe contest? The answer is a 100% no. I will never make that video. Unless I'm desperate for views and it's like a trend. <laughs> I have also decided to paint his face like a cat or a clown when he falls asleep. <laughs> I'm so wacky. Whack his face with a pillow then run. Only if that pillow is filled with coins or bricks. Then I'll do that. Then it's a prank that's kind of funny. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that, kids. LaShawn Klotz said tie a red helium to his toe when he falls asleep. LOL. What the, the what the fuck does that mean? Tie a red helium balloon to his toes and maybe he'll float away. Fuck. I'm thinking of having seven or eight people come out to Wisconsin in spring. My treat to do a crazy cooking video like ice cream with onions with pickles and mushroom toppings. Five other people must be the taste testers of crazy things we make for a YouTube video. Must be trustworthy. The fact that you, a fake account, says must be trustworthy, fuck. Also, the fact that you think I can afford to just bring out seven to eight people to Wisconsin. I don't even live in Wisconsin, according to you. I live in Delaware or some shit. So if some of you noticed, I was missing for about two weeks. It was because I was out of town working. During that time, I refused to be catfished. Wow. Who somehow got my account suspended for two weeks. Nope, dog, that was me. Someone alerted me to this fake account last year, like when it first started. Someone contacted me, they're like, what the fuck? You said some messed up things to me on Facebook. And I'm like, I haven't used Facebook in forever. So I looked it up and someone was faking being me and apparently saying kind of messed up stuff to the fans. So I tried to get the account deleted or whatever. And what I had to do was link my existing account and then also upload like a picture of my driver's license. I have a Facebook account, but I haven't used it in years. However, what they did is they deleted my original Facebook account and then they also deleted this Dylan Matthews account. And then I'm like, no, why did you delete my account? I'm not faking, that's the real one, that's the real account. I should have just let it get deleted, I don't give a shit. But then Facebook was like, oh, let's undelete both accounts then. And I'm like, no, just keep, Keep this one deleted, reactivate this one, because this one's the real one, this one's the fake one. Some catfish was not the one who got your account suspended. It was I. I was the one who got your account suspended, and I will do it again. The only reason I haven't let it go on this long is because I want to make a video about it. <laughs> so I got a haircut. Some of my YouTube fans don't like it. It's hair. It grows back. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. I feel like that should just be a catchphrase. Anytime you say something kind of cringy but kind of wisdomy, you'd be like, that's what's up. Money, you can't take it with you when you die. That's what's up. Dream big, that's what's up. Here is my biggest problem with this account. Yo, I'm not adding skanky ass porn stars. Stop requesting me, shaking my head. Okay, it's one thing to turn away people with business opportunities, but to turn away skanky ass porn stars? They're my favorite people! How dare you turn away porn stars? Man, if a porn star wants to follow you, you say thank you. But honestly, I kind of feel bad because greatest conversation with a great new friend. We are so different and yet so much alike. I felt such a bond like a brother going on. Like I knew him my whole life. Thank you, Naheem, for listening to me tonight. I enjoy our talks and I think you do too. Man, I feel bad for Naheem because Naheem thinks he's talking to me. Naheem is off talking to some dude in his basement. What level of crazy do you have to get to in order to just create a, an account and pretend to be somebody else? How sad does your own life have to be to pretend to be somebody else and use your free time to try to make other people believe that you are somebody that you're not? That. Oh. Honestly, I kind of want to see what this fake Dylan's gonna say. I feel like they're gonna make a post linking this video and saying like, I faked that I had a fake account. This account is totally real. I was just testing you. For those of you who are following me, I have a Twitter and an Instagram. I don't have a Snapchat. I don't have a Facebook. So if you're trying to follow me on either platform and you see somebody that's trying to be me, 
That's not me. My official Twitter account is at the D Matthews, and my official Instagram account is Dylan will not participate. Those are my only two social media accounts besides YouTube, of course, and I leave them linked in the description box of every video, so people don't find the wrong accounts or people using my face, which is just weird. I've encountered, I've been catfished by people who aren't real. It's not just this one person. There are so many people on social media pretending to be somebody they're not, and it's it's crazy. It takes another level of psychopath. If you are the person that runs this account, I would advise you seek some therapy, man, because you got some issues to work out. On a final note, any skanky ass porn stars who were turned off by this fake account message, just know that I support you. And if you want to follow me, cool. If you want to slide into my DMs, I mean, we'll see where it takes us. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Have a great day.